Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back with another Fortnite video and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys the best settings to use if you want to build smooth or if you want to build fast here in Fortnite. I want to share with you guys the best controller settings to do that. So if you are looking for the best fast or smooth settings, definitely stay to the end of the video because I'm going to be sharing with you guys those settings. And real quick, before we get into the video, I have a V-Buck giveaway. I bought a ton of these V-Buck cards for you guys to have. If you guys would like to receive a card and enter the giveaway, all you guys have to do is simply drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell and drop a comment down below of either your Xbox gamer tag, PSN gamer tag, or Epic account. I will be giving out one of these cards every single Friday. I will share the screenshot of the winner in the video. So make sure you guys stay updated if you are interested in winning free V-Bucks. And lastly, if you guys want to support me in the item shop, just go down to the bottom right, hit on support a creator, type in creator code YoungHumor, and you guys will have me supported in the item shop as a creator. And all right, guys, let's get right to the video. All right, so in this video, I want to be sharing the best settings to use if you want to build fast or smooth. So the first settings I want to cover if you want to build more smoothly in Fortnite so the settings that I would recommend having is for your build mode sensitivity to be on a 1.8, your edit mode sensitivity to be on a 1.9, and then I have the look horizontal speed on 39% and the look vertical speed on 39% as well. I really like these settings a lot for building more smooth in Fortnite. I find that these settings are very very smooth they're easily controllable for any player whether you're new or you've been playing for a long time and that's really important when it comes to smooth settings you want to be able to have settings that are very easily controllable so when you're building no matter um, how you decide to build it's gonna be a lot smoother than what you previously were building with or the settings that you had before it's gonna be a lot smoother than the settings that you're currently using and I just showed the bottom settings as well in case you guys were curious on exactly what I was using for those. But it's a 1.8x with a 1.9 and a 39% on both. If you think that the X and Y sensitivity is a little bit low, you can always raise it. So if you thought 39% was a little bit low, if you'd rather be on a 41 or 42%, you can definitely make that work. You might want to lower the building and editing sensitivity by one or two points. Because when you raise your X and Y sensitivity, then it's also going to change how the building and editing sensitivity is going to feel. Because the building and editing sensitivity is a multiplier of your X and Y sensitivity. So if you're on a 40% X and Y and you have a 2 building and editing sensitivity, what that means is it's going to be double the speed of the 40%. Versus if you're on a 60% X and Y and you had a 2X for your building and editing, then it's going to be double of 60%. So changing your X and Y sensitivity is going to change drastically how it feels when you are building and editing. Another important thing to keep in mind, if you want to build more smoothly, because you're going to be on a lower sensitivity, it's really important to have great crosshair placement, meaning that you, when you're editing, you want to keep your crosshair as tight as possible. You want to edit in the least amount of distance possible so you want to be able to complete the edit as fast as possible meaning you don't want to swing your crosshair out really really wide you want to keep your crosshair as close as possible so when you're editing it's as efficient as you can possibly have it meaning your edits and your builds are going to be a lot smoother they're going to be a lot quicker and they're going to be easier to pull off because you don't have to move your analog stick as far to be able to complete the edit and that's really important because it's going to help improve your accuracy as well because when you finish off the edit, your crosshair is going to be where you want it to shoot the other player that you're fighting. So and crosshair placement is very, very important. And it's something that I always do forget about a lot. I think a lot of players do forget, even if you have heard of that before. It's important to always make sure that you have the most optimal crosshair placement that you can possibly have when you are building, editing, or doing anything in between, like aiming. Having good crosshair placement is going to really help your game play out. And it's going to make you a much better player. So going into the fast settings that I have, I have a 2.1x for my build mode sensitivity. My edit mode sensitivity is also on a 2.1. And then my horizontal and vertical speed is a 43%. Now this sensitivity is on the faster side. It feels a lot quicker than the other sensitivity because the other sensitivity is a lot slower. It was a lot smoother. 
this one is going to be significantly faster and it comes with a little bit higher building and editing sensitivity and also a little bit higher of a horizontal and vertical speed being on a 43% as opposed to a 39% on the smooth settings. And I also will show you guys the settings at the bottom or as far as my aim or my ADS, my look dampening, and then I also am on linear as well. If you are looking to improve your building, linear is by far much better to have than exponential. Exponential is just not that good. It feels really clunky when it comes to building and editing. So linear is pretty much my go-to always. I don't really recommend exponential for almost all players. Linear is going to be the way to go. If you're not currently on linear, you definitely want to be on that setting. So the sensitivity feels a lot faster than the one before. And of course, it just comes down to your play style and personal preference, which one you guys like better if you like building more smooth, if you like building fast, either or it's important that you make sure that you have good crosshair placement with both so you can build and edit the most optimal as possible so you can improve as a player. It's going to make everything much more consistent because when you have good crosshair placement, your aim is going to be better. And also it's going to make your editing and builds much more consistent. So when it comes to games, so if you're practicing a lot and once you go into games and there's a little bit more pressure, say you're fighting someone, you're getting shot at, you're going to be able to complete those edits and builds and do exactly what you want to do in real games. So you can win more build fights and just win more 1v1s or even 2v1s if you're in a situation where your teammate goes down and you need to clutch up. So practicing your cross replacement is really, really important. And also finding out your play style so you know if building faster or if building smoother is better for you. Personally, I think I might have to go with the faster sensitivity. I like building smooth, but you can also go with an in-between. It's good to try out these settings and then kind of mix and match what you find to be better, what you find to be what works best for you because every player is a little bit different. Some people like a faster play style. Some people like a little bit slower play style. So it really just depends on what works best for you. So I recommend trying out these sensitivities and then just making the small adjustments necessary. Maybe you want to have a little bit faster editing sensitivity, maybe a little bit slower building, maybe the X and Y sensitivity is too high or too low. So you really want to make sure you dial it in to what works best for you and your play style. But with that being said, I really appreciate all you guys who watched the video. If you could drop a like on this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified every time I release a new video. But with that being said, I really appreciate all you guys watching the video. And all right, guys, I'll see you next video.